We're at Challenge Rot in Germany, one of the biggest events on the triathlon calendar. And now we're at the Expo. We're gonna go and take a look at some cool and exciting tech. Let's head on over. Okay, so we've come across the Lifetime Fitness IC8 bike. It's not brand new, it's been out for about a year now. But what is new is the MyRide computer system I've got on the front here. It's integrated with the bike. It's just come out in about April time and it uses the coach by color system, which we can see behind us. So it takes into account your FTP, gives you a color coding. So you know that you need to ride to that color and that's shown on the display right here. And on this screen right now, I've got Stefan Lieber, a coach, and he's telling me exactly what power I need to be putting out, what revolutions per minute, what power, really interesting and what's cool at the moment is i'm just riding along a road so it actually feels like almost outside a little bit like zwift but this is actually real footage of a road pretty cool now then is this something i might have beaten you to gcn this is the willia cento dici pro bike in its custom paintwork for savant chevenel for the tour de france for his team direct energy just check it out but who'd have thought it at a triathlon event hey Okay, this is a really cool one from Rota. It is a direct mount chainring setup. So what this means is it's been CNC'd from one block. So there's no bolt going through from the big ring to the small ring. It's one complete piece. And what that means is you're saving around 30 grams. And also it just makes this whole complete piece so stiff. And so the transmission of power through these chain rings is incredible. And you might be wondering, well, maybe that makes it hard to change the chain rings out. Well, it doesn't because they can actually be removed as we've shown just here from the crank set. So if I just show you, I just install the chain ring like so, and then we can just install the crank arm and then just tighten that on. It means we can switch between a 53.39, a 52.34. You can go one by, two by. Options are endless. At the moment, it's only available on the Twin Power, the two in power set, but very soon it's gonna be available across their whole range. How could I walk past this bike without stopping to take a look? This is Jan Fredino's Canyon Speedmax TT bike that he rode at the Ironman World Championships in Kona last year. Just check it out. It's even got custom decals onto his Zip 858 NSW wheels. It's actually directly printed on for aerodynamics. It's just something special. It's set up exactly how he rode it. All his hydration in exactly the same place. I really like this feature here. Quite nice. By taking a route around the Cervelo stand here and I've come across this P3. It's already a beautiful bike, but it's got a really cool Hawaiian touch to the Cervelo logo just really nice. Okay, so we all know KMC for their chains, very good chains, um, and this one is the DLC 11 chain. It's the Erdinger limited edition chain. It's in a special blue color, and it's printed with a carbon print, so very nice and light, and it's very good for efficiency. Really cool there. But something even more special is just here in my hand, and this one is not yet available to buy, but it will be by the end of July. And it actually has some slight changes to your normal chains. So it's got a few, few grooves in it, and this is specifically designed for TT. So the idea being that it has a much better transmission of power through the chain. Don't know much more than that at the moment, but I know that it does save somewhere around 5% in terms of efficiency, which is pretty exciting. All right, we've stumbled across Anya Berenik's Quintana Root PR6. Now this is actually her training bike in a rather bright pink color, which is actually available in that color to purchase. But her race bike is quite special because it, rather than this pink, pink paintwork, it's actually the carbon without the paintwork on, which saves around 180 grams. Now this bike in particular was launched for Kona last year for 2017 with the disc brakes. And then quite obviously this part here, you can see it's called the Shift Plus. So the idea being that it shifts the wind, the airflow around, cr creates less turbulence that comes around the frame. So the air flows nicely over this and very aerodynamic. So we featured the Swiss side Aeropod at Kona in 2017, just last year. And at that stage, it looked something like this. It was in its early developmental stage. And now we've got a far more refined version. So there's some slight changes here. So one in particular is with the pitot tubes themselves. So they've changed the materials used to improve its reliability and accuracy in data. Also the way it's attached and also how it sends that data. So they've improved sort of the Bluetooth and the amount of information they can send in real time to our devices. So the idea being that you can see your CDA, 
In other words, how aerodynamic you are in real time whilst you're riding. You can play around with your position, change your head. You can see all that data as you're going along. So really, really interesting. I'm afraid to say it's still not available to buy, but Swiss side are really trying to refine it. So they've got a really well finished product. So it's available to the market then. Um, and Swiss side actually work very closely with Cube in terms of their aerodynamics on the bike. So we've already featured the C68 on Michael Raylert's bike at the championship race in Samarin. Very similar design to this, but at the time it didn't have this hydration system. So now, they've actually got this magnetic integrated hydration system, which is a really cool feature. So you can easily just pop this off um, and it just fits so nicely with the bike. It looks really smooth and very aerodynamic. Right, so this one has really caught my eye and that's mostly because of the finish on the frame. So it's a titanium frame and no one's really been able to explain exactly how they've got the color work, but I think it's through some heat, tra heat treatment with the oxidation of the titanium. And it's come out of this really amazing effect. But actually on closer inspection, it's not just that, because I thought it was a single speed to start off with, but it's actually got a gearing system, which is called the pinion gearing system, which you can see down here, just behind the chain rings. And even more interestingly, is it doesn't have a base bar. It's only got tri bars. It's just designed to go fast and nothing else. Okay, so right here I have the New Balance 1500 V4. It's a very nice looking shoe, but then just here, I have the shoes that Sebastian Keeney is going to be running in at Challenge Roth. This is the New Balance 1500 T2. Now there's a few changes here to the triathlon version of this. It's got this boa lacing, which if I just click in this ratchet here, dial it in, you secure the, shoe, the foot into the shoe. Another triathlon specific modification is the tongue system. So there isn't a, a tongue that's loose as such. It's actually all built in as one, so you can't rock it under as you put your foot in. We've also got the finger loop here to help you put it on. And a really cool touch is what Sebastian's actually asked for. It says first in on this loop, first out on that loop. I finally come across the Lamborghini Cervelo P5X. I've been dying to get my hands on and see this bike. And this was designed jointly with Lamborghini with their very unique Y logo that they use across some of their brands and models. Um, it was released in March at the Geneva International Motor Show and it's only available in a limited run of 25. And guess what number this is? Zero. Right, I've had a great time walking around the expo there. There's some really cool tech. If you like the tech just as much as I did, hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more videos from GTN, just click on the globe and subscribe. If you'd like to see even more tech, again, you can see our Kona tech video by clicking down here. If you'd like to see our Challenge Rot Facts video, just click down here.